Carbon versus Raptor. What are the differences? Which one's better? Are they made by the same company? These are all great questions and I'm gonna answer them all in this video. Now, let me start by stating that both Carbon and Raptor are made by Keystone. And in fact, they're essentially going to be trim levels within the same line. Think of it like Chevy, GMC, and Cadillac. The Chevy line, if you will, is the Carbon WFO series. It's well-built, affordable, offers some great amenities, and has plenty of space for people and toys. Then we can move up to the GMC, so to speak, which is the Carbon line. I know it's slightly confusing because of the names, but it's easy to identify quickly from outside as you'll find some upgraded features, uh, such as improved fiberglass exterior on that laminated carbon. And within the carbon line, there's not only a travel trailer, there's also a fifth wheel, which has even more features. We can compare that to say the GMC Denali, right? The construction and styling is the same. You're just gonna get a few more features. Then we get to the Cadillac of the line, which is the Raptor. While it may have the same core construction as the rest, you have even nicer styling and pretty much all the bells and whistles you could possibly ask for in an RV. Now, let's take a peek under the hood and see exactly what you're getting for your money to decide which one, if any of these, is right for you. Starting with the Carbon WFO series. The Carbon WFO is all about offering open floor plans in a stylish and functional yet somewhat minimalistic travel trailer. The color scheme is the same throughout every line, from the Carbon WFO all the way up to the Raptor, and in my opinion, I think it's pretty well done. At bare minimum in the WFO, you're looking at a 13 and a half foot garage, which is loaded with 5,000 pound frame welded D-rings and a carrying capacity of over 3,500 pounds. It'll have a power tongue jack and power stabilizer jacks, plus dual 30 pound propane tanks. Some of the major options you can get on the WFO include a patio package, a 220 watt solar panel, lithium batteries, and a second air conditioner. And because it's a Keystone product, you'll also get the Keystone technological standards like color-coded wiring, key TV, the 12 volt distribution box, and one of my favorites, the incredible Blade AC system. The Carbon WFO is meant to be an open toy hauler that is functional and stylish yet affordable, and I think they delivered on that idea. It's just an excellent entry into the toy hauler space. But if you're looking for a few more bells and whistles, then the carbon laminated line is probably what you're after. The interior decor is nearly identical, but there's gonna be some significant feature upgrades and you have more variety of layouts. You'll find that some of the options in the WFO are standards in the laminated carbon line, such as the second air conditioner unit and the 220 watt solar panel. But you'll also see some great upgraded features, such as the fact you go from an eight cubic foot refrigerator in the WFO to a 10 cubic foot refrigerator in that carbon laminated. Then there's the addition of the Moride 3000 upgraded suspension system and the electric Happy Jack bed system, which are both going to be standard. The options change here too, as you can now upgrade to a 440 watt solar system, frameless dual pane windows, and you can opt for a generator if you choose. Now, if you remember in the beginning of this video, we talked about the GMC Denali trim level, and that's where the laminated carbon fifth wheel comes in. Everything is the same as the travel trailer, but you get an even larger refrigerator coming in at 16 cubic foot. You get standard six point hydraulic auto level, and you can get optional sliding glass patio doors on most of the fifth wheel models. But alas, if you want the biggest and the baddest out there, and I don't blame you because they're incredibly cool, then the Raptor is going to be what you're looking for. The floor plans are intuitive and well thought out and have anywhere from an 11 to 15 foot garage that come equipped with the Happy Jack bed system. Not only are they massive with floor plans stretching out to 45 feet, but they also have pretty much every feature and amenity available that one could want in a toy hauler. In the kitchen, the countertops get upgraded from thermal form to a true solid surface, you'll get a 16 cubic foot refrigerator and 30 inch convection oven. You even get a residential style four burner cooktop with a large 24 inch oven. The main living space will have one of the three to four smart TVs found on the Raptor and below it is a 5,000 BTU fireplace. It's perfect for taking the chill out of the air. The bedroom will house a slide out king bed, a large wardrobe and will include washer and dryer prep. And some of the other incredible features include a three three air conditioners, which is amazing, G-rated tires to handle the weight of this beast, 
60 gallon fuel storage, 5,500 watt generator. I mean, heck, even the ramp door is upgraded for easier use. And all of those features are standard. Believe it or not, there are some options you can add to. And my two favorite are full body paint, because just look at it, it's beautiful. And the other is the long haul package, which adds an air compressor, kicker sound system with subwoofer, water filtration system, tire pressure monitoring system, 50 amp cord reel, and side cameras. So which is better, the Carbon or the Raptor? While the Raptor certainly has more features, the Carbon offers smaller floor plans that are easier to tow. And this helps open up the available options for tow vehicles, which can absolutely be a deciding factor. Then of course, there's pricing to consider. At the time of filming, the Carbon WFO has an MSRP starting around 38,000. The Carbon Laminated starting MSRP jumps up to around 90,000 and the Raptor's MSRP starts at 128,000. At the end of the day, you simply have to decide which one makes the most sense for you. Do you want the Chevy, the GMC, or the Cadillac? For more brand comparisons, click on the video here and until next time, we'll see ya.